Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is obviously not going to be a very bookish video, but it's this little nugget's birthday today. Somebody is one and she hates for some reason when I sit down to film. She has turned one, I will put, okay. Bye. We'll get footage of her for this video. I don't know what it is. The second that I like sit down and turn the camera on, she's just like, oh my gosh. But literally every other time of my life, she is in my face 24 seven. But um, I just wanted to hop on here and make a quick little video because a lot of you guys have been here since the beginning with her. Oh God, she just leapt onto the back of my chair and is dangling for her life. It's fine. Um, but a lot of you guys have been here since the very beginning with Cricket, and I know a lot of you guys love Cricket. She has steadily risen to like the goat level fame on my channel. Um, but if you guys are new here, Cricket is my now cat. She's no longer really a kitten at all anymore. Um, but she was the kitten that I brought home to foster last summer. I know it seems like yesterday that I brought her home, but um, last June, I brought her home as a foster who quickly turned into a foster failure and is now mine. <laughs> I would like to introduce you guys to somebody. Mm, I brought a kitten home from work. Made it through the night. Back to having a shoulder cat. That's a cat butt. I'll put pictures on the screen or something of her so you guys can at least look at her while I'm talking. Um, but I brought her home last June. If you guys wanna actually see like the progression of me owning her, I believe my summerathon vlog is the one that I brought her home in. Like halfway through that video is the night that I brought her home. Um, I work at an animal rescue. I had worked there for about a year and a half before I brought anything home, like pat on the back to me, cause that is a feat in itself but she was the runt of a litter of five and she was sad. Like she was the skinniest, most sickly little kitten <laughs> that I've ever seen. She was two months old when I brought her home and she still didn't weigh a pound. She weighed just over 15 ounces. Um, so she was like dangerously skinny and sick and wasn't eating. So the plan was to bring her home, separate her from her siblings and give her all the access to food and attention that she could want to start growing and thriving. And that just kind of took longer than expected. The initial plan was to keep her there for a couple days and just get her eating and get her gaining weight. And then it turned into a couple weeks, couple months, and now she's still here. But she has been the cutest thing in the entire world, as you guys are seeing from pictures. She is like precious. Um, all of her siblings have been adopted at this point. I will try and put pictures of how big her siblings were six months ago. Like these kittens were six months old in these pictures and they weighed 11 pounds. Like she is about an average size cat now. She's probably small, but for being a runt of a litter, um, she has averaged out because it seems like all of her siblings are supposed to just be like these mammoth, huge cats. I don't know who their parents were, but they are all huge. So like I said, when I brought her home, she weighed 15 ounces. All of her siblings weighed like two to three pounds. So there was like a huge size difference between her and her siblings. And it was just, it was sad for her. Um, but she has grown into the sweetest little cat in the entire world. She has learned how to meow. I'll put a clip of her meowing as a kitten because it'll just melt your dang heart. Oh man. You're so vicious. Yeah. I know, right? It's like, ugh, I can't handle it. She has been the cutest kitten ever, and now she is officially one. And as I'm filming this, we are in the middle of the whole pandemic thing that's going on in the world. So the initial plan was to go out and get her a whole bunch of like cat treats and make like a little cat treat cake or something for her or get her like a little party hat or something. But that can't happen right now, obviously. So I got her a box. <laughs>
So she's a big fan of boxes. That's a thing. But while I have you guys here and while I'm not on like a bookish tangent right now, um, I did want to make like kind of a little PSA for you guys. Like I said, we're in the middle of the craze of the virus and pandemic and quarantine and everything. I am still working because like I said, I work at an animal rescue, so I'm technically life sustaining, even if it's animal life. Um, but I did want to let you guys know if you have ever considered fostering an animal of some sort, now is the perfect time to do it. Shelters are all still allowing it. In fact, they're encouraging it as much as possible. You are still welcome to go to a shelter. A lot have kind of set up almost a curbside pickup type of thing where you can set up an appointment, they can talk to you, they can match you to a pet, or some places are still allowing you to go and meet the pets before you take them home. Um, but a lot of it is just kind of hands off at this point. All shelters are pretty much shut down at this point. We are still functioning, like we still have staff on site, like we, there are still people there every single day, but we aren't allowing volunteers. So a lot of the animals that are there are not getting as much socialization as they would. I feel like I should be playing like Sarah McLaughlin in the background right now. I'm putting like sad pictures up. The animals are okay, I promise you. They're getting the best of care just from the staff, but it would also be way more ideal to have those pets sitting on your couch with you instead of in a cage at a shelter or something. So fostering is the perfect thing to do right now if you're lonely, like if you're kind of self-isolated right now and you're not with like family or anything, have a little companion with you. Or if your family's driving you insane, direct all of that attention to like a puppy or something right now because dogs will always want attention. So it's a really good thing to try and foster right now if you have ever wanted to. And look what you could end up with. You could end up with a foster failure like me. Look at her, she's so precious. Look at those toe beans. But the other thing that I kind of want to let you guys know about because this is something that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about unless you're like working in the vet field. But right now is springtime, which is kitten season in um, animal rescue world. So springtime is when a lot of cats are having kittens or a lot of cats go into heat to be bred to have kittens. Um, and we get a huge influx of litters of kittens this time of year or like early summer, I guess, as they're being born and brought to us. Um, and this year, almost no animals are getting spayed or neutered because technically spaying or neutering your animal is an elective surgery and almost all vets are running on skeleton crews and are not doing um, spaying or neutering surgeries because it's not considered an emergency or essential. So basically all of these cats that are having kittens this spring are not going to get fixed immediately afterwards, which means they could have kittens again in a couple months. And all of those kittens could then potentially go into heat, have more kittens, it's gonna be bananas. So if there are not many kittens available to foster uh, right now, give it like a couple months. Their shelters are gonna be so flooded with litters of kittens. So tossing it out there, if you ever wanted to foster, now is a good time. If shelters are somewhat empty near you, that's an amazing thing, but give it time. There will be more, I promise. So I'm going to get off my soapbox now. So just wanted to make this video to wish Cricket a happy birthday, show you guys some cute pictures of her growing up over the past year and some footage of her being adorable. And just for that little PSA, just want to toss it out there. So that's all I've got for you guys this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Cricket and I'll be back to my regular bookish content in my next video.